Hey guys, we'll be talking about transmission of heat. Okay. Heat can be transmitted via three ways. Okay. Radiation is one of the three. Okay. So why is radiation here? Radiation is the transfer of thermal energy by means of electromagnetic radiation. Okay. It's just this electromagnetic radiation. I shoot radiation, the mode of transfer is radiation. Okay, and this radiation is usually in the form of infrared, and infrared causes heating. Okay, so when it gives out uh, radiation, it will become cooler. When it give, when it absorb radiation, it will become hotter. So radiate the radiation, it will become cooler, and then absorb, it will become hotter. Okay, so if you radiate very little and you absorb a lot, then you become hotter. Okay. What is interesting about radiation, right? This heat transfer via this manner, right, can occur between two materials that are separated by a cooler medium. So let's say that I have a very hot um, coil of metal here. So what it's doing is that it is radiating, uh, is radiating heat in all directions. Okay, and then let's say that I have two nets. Okay, one net is like that. Okay, made out of let's say fiber. This is white. Okay, and then I have another mesh. After this. Okay, and this is black. What is interesting is that this black mesh right will, will eventually become hotter than the white one. Okay, because black absorbs better. Later on, we'll talk about this. Right, the black mesh will become hotter than the white mesh because it absorbs more radiation. It is a better absorber of radiation. Okay, even though it's at the back. Okay. Uh, just take note that radiation can, if the object is very hot, radiation from an object right can actually become in the visible spectrum. So light that we can see. When something is giving light that we can see, right, we just call it a luminous object and it glows. Okay. So Heat transfer via radiation is dependent on a few factors. More, most importantly is the color and texture of the surface. If the question talk about surface, always, always talk about radiation. And you will always be in the same five main points that we talked about in conduction before. Okay. So yeah, later on we will talk about how to tackle and how to answer these kind of questions. Right? Black and matte surfaces are good absorbers and good emitters. Always talk about absorber of radiation, emitter of radiation, and always use the correct word. Okay? If it is absorbing radiation, then you say that it's a good absorber. If it is emitting radiation, then it is a good emitter. Okay? So let's say I have an object. Okay? Object is cold as compared to the hot surrounding. So you would be discussing whether the object is a good or bad. Here is absorbing heat or emitting heat it is absorbing, right? So, so you will see that you will say that is whether it's a good absorber of radiation or not. Okay. If let's say on the contrary, this is a hot object, right? And then this is a cold surrounding. Then you'll say that object is a emitter of radiation. Then whether is it a good one or is it a poor one, All right? So how do you see whether it's a good one or poor one? If let's say this is a black cold object, then it is a good absorber because black is good. Okay, black good at absorbing, good at emitting. How about this is a white one, then object is a poor emitter of radiation. 
if it's a poor emitter of radiation, it doesn't emit a lot of radiation. This remains hot. Okay. Okay. Of course, the surface temperature. Okay. If let's say my my hot object is very 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 hot. Okay, you will radiate more radiation even though it is white in color, right? But the color and the texture play a much bigger part as compared to the surface temperature, right? So first thing that you always think about is the color and the texture of the surface, whether it's black or white, is it matte or polished, okay? That is always what you should be talking about. Okay, let's say that we have this question here, all right? Why are most houses in Singapore painted white? Okay, so we see here, ah, this is this one. So the answer is here. Okay, why surfaces when I don't want heat transfer? Okay, makes sense. I don't want heat transfer because white is a poor absorber or emitter of heat. So here I am looking at the I'm worried about the house emitting heat or I'm worried about the house absorbing heat. Okay, I don't want to be the same temperature as the surrounding, so I am worried about the house absorbing heat. So, white surfaces is white surfaces are a poor absorber of radiation. Okay, so now I'm talking about white surfaces. My house is a poor absorber of radiation. So heat is transferred from the surroundings where to where, okay, to the house. Okay, so since it's a poor absorber already, it's a poor absorber, so it will be at a slow rate. Okay, and why is the what is the heat transmission? It is via radiation. Okay. And why? So that the house does not get too hot in the day. So that less energy is used to cool the house down. Okay. Always for this for, for conduction and radiation, it is really useful to follow to follow this this few guidelines, right? Okay. So as we all the applications, right? Here are the scenarios that the question can ask about. Okay. They mainly fall into two different categories. One is undesirable heat transfer. Okay. Then and the other one is desirable heat transfer, desirable heat transfer. Okay. So um, think of whether the heat transfer is desirable or not. If it is undesirable, you'll see you'll see white all the time. White, shiny, shiny. Okay. If it's desirable, you will always get black. Black. Okay. And of course, surface area, thin. Winding pipes. Right.